Assalamualaikum and hello everyone In this video, we're going to learn a new uh, learning outcome Which is, we're going to explain the use of haloalkane in the synthesis of the Grignard reagent And we're going to determine the structure formula of alkane, alcohol and carboxylic acid Prepared using our Grignard reagent So, let's look on your notes on page um, 10 Okay, so uh, what is actually Grignard reagent? Okay, so the kata dekat sini, Grignard reagents are prepared by reacting haloalkane with magnesium in anhydrous ether. So, maknanya we have magnesium as our reagent and we also need our ether lah. And uh, the Grignard reagent will increase the chain length of the molecule form. Okay, so in this case, the bukan our usual nucleophilic substitution is not. What we're going to add is that between our carbon dengan our halogen ni, what we're going to add, we're going to uh, include our magnesium before our halogen. So that's why that is the RMGX. Okay, so for example here, I have my haloalkane here. Okay, so I'm going to react it with magnesium in ether. So what is my product? My product would be CHH here. And then, okay. It's not Cl only and it's not being uh, chlorine and magnesium ni. It's not being substituted ke apa. It's not. So, dah akan jadi MgCl. Okay. So, and then for this one. So, contohnya we have here our compound. Okay. So, apa yang akan jadi? What would happen to our product? Again, where our halogen is, we're going to add our magnesium before the halogen itself. We're not being substituted copper, just we're going to add magnesium in our bromine. Okay. So, right now, what we're going to look at, okay, so sebenarnya, this Grignard reagent, actually, um, our carbon can undergo many reaction. Okay, why? Okay, so for example, I'm going to look here. Okay, so usually, okay, so R ni, maknanya kita boleh jadi CH3 lah kan, any carbon. So, carbon ni is actually our group 14 lah. And our, apa ni, what is actually X ni is our halogen group 17. So, uh, as the atom is actually from different uh, different group So it has different electronegativity okay, Remember across the period Electronegativity increase So group 17 ni Electronegativity dia it's high So what would ha what happen is that Our electron dia adalah uh, More concentrated On our haloalkin uh, On our halogen So they're the partial negative Our carbon partial positive So mostly carbon kita ni Adalah memang mostly partial positive lah so, contohnya kalau kita halu alkin CH3Cl ke, for example, our alcohol ke CH3OH ke. Okay, sebab um, we have our carbon is bonded to more electronegative atom. So, partial positive. But for the case of Grignard reagent, for this time around, sebenarnya, dia lain pula. Okay, so kita tengok, uh, our uh, R ni our carbon lah, alkyl group lah. So, group 14. Okay, magnesium ni, okay, magnesium ni namang, okay, so, dia adalah, okay, group 2. So, what happened here adalah, again, electronegativity increase across the period. So, dalam case ni, our R ni, dia ada, the contain partial negative and magnesium ni partial positive. So, for Grignard reagent ni, so bila kita kata kat sini dia ada partial negative charge ataupun sini sekarang ni kita dah boleh kata usually, okay, usually carbon ni kita cakap dia sebagai electrophilic side. Tapi untuk Grignard reagent dia boleh jadi nucleophilic side. Okay, sebab dia dah ada partial negative. So, ni yang lain dan yang lainnya, our Grignard reagent. So, that's why lah kita bila... Um, apa ni as Grignard reagent kita boleh undergo banyak lagi reaction ok so let's look for the first reaction adalah reaction of the Grignard reagent with water and our uh, H plus ataupun sometimes dia bagi H3O plus ok so what happen is that our product will be uh, betul kan this is not alkene the product supposed to be alkene Okay, 
So let's look for example E here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to label mana partial positive, partial negative. Okay, partial negative tu sebab dia adalah more electronegative. Okay, again across the period, uh, dia punya apa ni, electronegativity increase. Okay, water pula consists of H plus dengan OH minus. So yang ini just to make it clear, buatlah partial positive, partial negative ya. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is actually I'm going to pair up yang positive tu dengan a new neg negative with a new positive. So, nah, yang positive tu akan pair up dengan the new negative lah. So, what happen? We're going to swap it around. Kita akan, apa ni, substitute the partner. Okay, so what does it mean by that? So, maknanya, carbon kita partial negative ni akan couple dengan H plus yang partial positive. Okay, so, sekarang ni we have our byproduct which is not compulsory for you to write. But I'm just going to show it to you. Sebenarnya, what happen? Okay, so we have our MGCL ni. Dah akan gabung, we're going to combine with OH. But then again, cari write up dia lain sikit lah. Bukan MGCL OH. Okay, MG ni, the positive 2, OH minus negative, CL minus negative. So, what happen adalah, dia akan, when we combine, dia akan jadi neutral. Tapi, when we combine, we have to write it down. MG, OH, CL. Okay, again, kenapa dia punya arrangement macam tu? I, I do not know. Tapi, this is how you write it down and it's neutral sebab dah cancel out the charge. So, that is for your E. So, this is our alkene. Okay, so, let's do it for um, atom B pula. Okay. Make sure label yang mana satu partial positif, partial negatif. Water ni H2O, uh, H2O, H plus O, H minus. Okay, yang ini again carbon yang uh, partial negatif sebab it's more electronegatif compared to magnesium. Okay, yang ni pun water pun I do partial positif, partial negatif. Okay, but this time around I want to do the condensed version. So, CH3 ada carbon bonded to hydrogen and then the bonded to another CH3. Okay, so what happened here adalah this carbon akan couple up dengan our hydrogen. Hydrogen from our water. And then, what is left adalah our MGBR with our OH. But then, how to write it down? Dia akan jadi MG uh, kurungan OH BR. Uh, okay, the my gut bro uh, macam tu lah. Uh, yang I do not know kalau MGBR OH boleh ke tidak. But then, this is how you write it down. Okay, so let's look macam mana pula how we're going to draw if it's a skeletal structure. Okay, so I'm just going to, uh, yang ini betul kan, sebenarnya carbon tu is bonded to magnesium. So, dia jadi MGBR macam ni. If not, tadi tu the bonded carbon tu yang bonded pada bromine. But actually, carbon tu bonded pada magnesium. Okay, so again, partial positive, partial negative. Okay, partial negative is carbon lah. Group 14. Okay, and water, H2O. Okay, again, we are going to pair up dia macam mana. Okay, I'm just going to draw again our um, alkene ni. But then again, dia nanti akan combine uh, with hydrogen. Since, um, apa ni, this is a skeletal. Okay, hydrogen tak payah tunjuk. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to erase this lah. Okay, so we know actually we're going to swap hydrogen tu dengan MgBr. Okay, so this is our alkene. Okay, and then, I'm going to write down my byproduct as well. Okay. Question D. Ya. Yang ni, um, sama juga. Okay. Same. Magnesium is partial positive. Carbon yang partial negative. Sebab, okay. Again, across the period, electronegativity increase. Okay. So, we're going to swap the position around. We're going to swap uh, MgCl2 dengan hydrogen. Okay. But then, perlu ke kita tunjuk kalau skeletal? Uh, we don't have to show. So, I'm just going to erase it. And then, the punya byproduct is MgOHCl. Okay, so that's the reaction with H2OH plus akan form alkene. So, what we're going to do is actually we're going to swap MgCl dengan hydrogen. So, let's look for number 2. Okay, kali ni reaction dia tambah dia methanol. So, what is actually methanol? Methanol is the name of compound. Okay, but then dia punya class adalah aldehyde and the functional group is actually carbonyl. Okay, so yang ini sebenarnya kita akan belajar nanti chapter 16. Okay, carbonyl ni, so what's the functional group? Dia adanya the presence of C double bond O. So, this is our carbonyl lah. Okay, tapi aldehyde ni apa pula? Okay, remember carbon must have four bond. Okay, so, uh, tapi oksigen pula jangan kembali risau sebab dia memang ada two bond and two lone pair. Okay, so carbon ni akan bonded untuk aldehyde akan bond pada satu hydrogen. Okay, so this is what we call aldehyde. Okay, and when we name it, dia akan jadi, nama dia akan jadi belakang tu, we're going to change dia jadi 
N E L. Okay, so contohnya methanol ni, uh, kita tahu lah dia adalah aldehyde. Dan methanol, uh, meth ni, it means that we only have one carbon. So, for example, if ethanol, it means that I have two carbon, which is my aldehyde. Okay, but then when we look at the structure, um, uh, the structure itself only have one carbon dah kan? So, maknanya, ada lagi satu ni, it's not carbon. Uh, another carbon is bonded to hydrogen. So, this is actually your methanol. And we're going to form primary alcohol. Okay, so product primary alcohol, what is primary alcohol? So, maknanya, Okay, bukan dia, um, okay, I'm going to show carbon ni bonded to OH and this carbon must be bonded to only one carbon lah. So, contohnya uh, one carbon ataupun any alkyl group. Okay, but then let's look example E. Okay, so yang ini mesti nak buat juga partial positive, partial negative ni juga. Okay, so first and foremost, uh, determine dulu the group of atom, uh, the group of your atom ni lah and we know across the period electron negativity increase so yang situ kita akan letak partial negative between carbon dengan magnesium carbon is partial negative so dia yang lain sikit tapi but then yang C double bond O ni uh, ok so north ok so maknanya uh, oxygen is more electron negative so to partial negative carbon partial positif. Okay, so why miss nak buat macam ni? Okay, yang ini miss tunjuk sikit sahaja uh, ala-ala mekanism dia kan supaya kamu nampak. Okay, again yang rich electron akan kacau yang poor electron. Okay, then this bond will break. Okay, tapi bila dia break, um, dia akan the electron will move to more electron negative atom. Dia adalah heterolytic cleavage. So, here I'm just going to show the arrow to you. Yang ni kamu tak perlu um, draw pun. Yang ni just nak bagi clear lah. Introduction. Okay, so what happen here, I'm going to draw my methanol ni. Apa jadi? Sebab dia dah accept electron. So, when it accept electron, dia ada negative charge. Okay, but then, sekarang ni, dia ada dua bond kan? Tapi sekarang ni, it, what it means that carbon ni akan break the bond, dia akan form satu single bond lagi. Tapi, dia akan attach to carbon yang partial negative kita ni. So, carbon partial negative kita ni adalah CH2, CH3. Okay. So, tapi MgCl ni macam mana pula? MgCl ni is actually Mg2 plus dengan Cl minus. So, bila kita gabungkan dia, actually dia bukan neutral. Dia ada positive charge is left. So, I'm just going to write down MgCl plus. Okay, tapi dia akan attracted to oxygen yang negatively charged ni lah. So, we have to show it this way. So, jadi O minus MgCl. Okay, again. Uh, sebab dia dah Lagi pun kalau kamu nak fikir Dia dah donate So jadi positif lah Okay Tapi ni baru satu Kita kata We're going to form primary alcohol How? Okay So kita akan reactkan dia Dengan H2OH plus Barulah kita dapat form Primary alcohol Okay So Tapi kalau yang ni Yang ni nak tunjuk jugalah Sebenarnya Kalau kamu rasa ni tak cantik If you want to draw it In terms of Yang CH2CH3 In terms of condens pun Tiada masalah So, ini I'm just going to draw in terms of condensed to CH2, CH3. Okay, and then mana-mana pun is accepted. Okay, so um, later we're going to react this with H2O. Again, H2 is consists of H plus dengan OH minus. Okay, so what happened adalah O minus ni we react dengan H plus, MgCl dengan OH minus. Okay, so okay, what will be the product? So, O minus dengan H plus kan? Okay, tapi kenapa yang ini OH ni we're not going to draw dia punya charge sebab this is actually a covalent bond. Okay, O minus dengan MgCl ni sebenarnya uh, kita nak tunjuk dia uh, charge sebab kata dia adalah ionic bond. OH covalent bond so tak ada charge lah. Okay, tapi yang charge O minus MgCl kena tunjuk. So, MgCl tu akan react dengan OH minus. But then how to write, how to write it down akan jadi MgOHCl. Okay, so when we look here sebenarnya pada carbon OH ni bonded to only one carbon Sebab lagi dua tu adalah hydrogen kan So this is actually our primary alcohol So this is our product lah Okay So ni adalah primary alcohol R, Dalam kes ni R kita adalah ethyl CH2, CH3 Okay, so that's for A Okay, let's look for question B So yang ni pun nak buat juga partial positif, partial negatif ni So C double bond O pun sama juga Uh, kalau tak nak ingat ini senof okay. So oxygen is more electronegatif So yang ni misalnya nak tunjuk arrow ke apa okay, So how we gonna draw the product CH2 okay, Tapi double bond O tu kita akan jadi 
Carbon tu ada jadi 2 single bond okay, Tapi O ni akan jadi O minus Sebab dia akan accept elektron kan So dia O minus Okay And then this carbon will bond to the carbon yang attach kepada our green red reagent lah, MgBr2. Okay, so carbon ni, this is carbon number 1. Okay, dia ada body guard carbon A dengan carbon B kan. Tapi carbon number 1 bonded to hydrogen and bonded to 1 CH3, 1 methyl, yang carbon A. And the bonded to another CH3 yang carbon B kita. Okay, so this is actually our product kita sini lah. What happened to MGBR? Ha, yang ni kita kena wajib tulis, dia jadi MGBR plus. Okay. So, tak kisah positif tu pada bromine, pada magnesium pun boleh juga. Pada magnesium boleh, bromine pun boleh. Okay, so ini baru react dengan metanal. Okay, boleh jadi primary alcohol when it react it with water. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to swap, uh, apa ni, switch the partner lah. So, we will form our product. So, jadi OH and MgOHBr. Okay, so that's for example B. For example C, what I'm going to do is do partial positive, partial negative which depends on the electronegativity of atom. Okay, two partial negative tu is more electronegative atom lah between these two. And remember, across the period, electronegativity increase. Okay, what happen pada metanal kita ni, double bond O jadi single bond O. And O ni jadi O minus. Okay, and then combine dengan MgCl plus. Okay, so carbon ni akan bonded to our cyclohexene ni. So, let's draw our cyclohexene structure. Okay, and then but then when we check pada carbon number 1, kita bonded pada carbon number 1 ni kan. And then pada carbon number 2, what we have is actually our metal. So, kena draw lah our metal. Eh, sebenarnya pada carbon number 2. Sebenarnya tersilap. Uh, betul kan, please. Lepas tu, and then. Okay, yang O minus ni jadi OH. But then again, remember that um, apa ni? Metal tu pada carbon yang we're going to label number 2 tu sendiri. Oh, 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 oh. And then saya jadi MgOHCl. Okay, so this is the product. Okay, make sure betulkan metal pada carbon number 2. But then, when we look, okay, for the reaction with metana, we're going to form primary alcohol. So, sebenarnya, again, sebenarnya bonded to R lah. Bukan CH3 je. Sebab example B, kita tengok R kita, it could be anything.